Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Priscilla Kadero de Virtuous Suman. Our God is God of ability. Our God is the God that is able to do everything. That same God is telling you today, he said you should not be afraid. Through Elijah. And he told the Zephanate woman, he said, don't be afraid. In the book of 1 Kings, chapter 10, from verse 1, from verse 10 to 17, there was famine. And the Lord God directed Elijah to go to Zephyrath, that he will meet a widow there that will feed him for those months that there was famine. Elijah getting there, saw the woman picking up wood. He told the woman, he said, my dear, please, can you give me some water to drink? As she was about getting inside, he called, him, he called her back. He said, come back, please, just kindly bake some bread send it to me i will eat the woman said my lord i don't even have anything i barely have little flour that is just for me and my son after baking it we will just die elijah said the god i serve have told me that throughout this family you will not lack do not be afraid just bake some bread for me bring it to me and some water Really, she did that. Before she could even eat, she, she begged Elijah to give it to him. And right from that day, the scripture said that the, the flour, the oil, did not spend. That is, there was enough to carry her and the family through. Where people were suffering, where people were crying, where people were dying, she was living in affluence. Just because she, she listened, she obeyed the word of the Lord through Elijah. Today, I am telling you, the Lord God said, you should not be afraid. What are you passing through? What is that situation that you are passing through? God Almighty is telling you. He said, don't be afraid. I am with you. Just as he provided for that woman in Zephyrath. The Lord God mysteriously, divinely provided for her and the entire household throughout family. They did not even look for anything. Don't allow this situation of your country. Oh, the economic is bad. The da, 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 da. Yes. The God you serve is the God of our brother. Is the God that provided where there was none. Even he provided a ram for Abraham. Instead of Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, the Lord God said, no, don't touch that boy. Look by the bush. There is a thick ram there. That is when Abraham said, Jehovah Jireh. That is the same God we are serving today. That is the same God that is telling you, don't be afraid. What are you passing through? Is your marriage want to be in shambles? The Lord God said, don't be afraid. Just bring it before God Almighty and he will see you through. Is it your children? Is it your earth? What is it that is taking away your peace? The Lord God said, don't be afraid. Just like what he, he told the woman, in Ze that widow in Zephyrath through Elijah. He said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of anything. Put your hope and trust in God. The Lord God, he said, even when the world is turning upside down, the children should look unto him because he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the one that can move mountains. He is the one that can direct the undirectable. He is the pilot of our life. The Lord God is telling you today, don't be afraid. Look unto him. Look unto Jesus. Say, Jesus, this is my situation. This is what I'm passing through. There is no general without a scar. If you are a child of God, let me tell you, you cannot be a general without a scar. That is why the Lord God said we should pick up our cross and follow him daily. Listen to God. Listen to God. The Lord God is telling you, don't be afraid. Don't panic for nothing. Even when you see that the ground is about to open up his mouth. 
just have faith in God. Say, Father, you said I should believe in you. Those that believe in you, they can never be disappointed. And I know as a child of God, I will not be disappointed. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they were facing the burning fullness, he said, my, my dear Lord, even though when our Lord will fail us, we will not bow before you. Because of the trust they have in God, they didn't bow. And the Lord God delivered them from the burning fullness. The scripture says when they put them inside, the burning fullness now turns to air condition for them. It becomes very cool. And they were singing praises. The king said, oh, I thought I put three men inside, but I can see the fourth man look like the son of man who is Jesus Christ. Don't be afraid. The Lord God said, you should not be afraid. Don't be afraid of the situation. Don't be afraid of the presence because he is the pilot of your life and he's going to see you through in the name of Jesus Christ. There is nothing our God cannot do. Our God is mighty man in battle. He's a great I am that I am. He's the one that says yes and, he, and that yes is yes. When the Lord God blesses you, nobody can curse you. When the Lord God opens the door, nobody can close it. That God is telling you, he said, don't be afraid. Even when there is nothing on your table, believe God. Say, Father, wherever I don't know you are going to bless me with, tonight I will eat and I will have surplus. Elisha told that king's servant, when he prophesied, he said, tomorrow there will be more. He said, there will be more than enough. He said, hmm? who told you? They cannot even send it into it miraculously and God provided because he did not believe he did not eat out of the abundance out of this poor that is the same thing I'm telling you today our king is a mighty one our king is the one that that that, that is the autoknatu don't be afraid rely on Jesus let your way be in a alignment with the Lord God, and it will be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Baba, Lord God, I want to thank you for your word, oh Lord God, because you have said your children should not be afraid. Baba, Lord God, give them the faith that most matter. Give them the faith that will not shake them. Give them the faith that no matter, even though where the world is closing in, let not them be afraid of the world, but they should have faith and know that you are the God that we see us through in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for listening. As you listen, may the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord honor you. Live according to the word of God. The word is coming to an end. We don't even know when it's coming, but we should prepare because he said, I'm going to come like a thief. Don't be caught on our way. Don't be carried away with the word. Let the Lord be your anchor. Thank you and God bless you. Once again, my name is Priscilla Kadiri, the virtuous woman. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, my page, David and Priscilla, my group, the virtuous woman. God bless you. I love you, but Jesus Christ loves you more. I'm equally also on Instagram, the Kadiri's family. God bless you. Love you plenty, plenty. Thank you.